Uh, the death toll from Hurricane Helene now at at least 166 people. Recovery efforts continue after destructive flooding. Millions still in the dark in some southern states. And Oklahoma's branch of the Red Cross is one of many groups stepping up to help. Joining us right now live is Matt Trotter from the Red Cross. Matt, nice to have you. Hi, thanks for having me. Wanted to start by just getting the latest update. We know that recovery efforts are still underway right now. What's the latest from some of your crews that are out there working? Well, as you mentioned, this is one of the deadliest storms to ever hit the United States at this point. It's left hundreds of miles of catastrophic damage in its wake, and it's changed millions of lives forever. The Red Cross has a huge response operation underway to make sure nobody is facing this challenging time alone. So at this point, we have more than 1,200 trained disaster workers on the ground working around the clock to make sure that people have safe shelter, comfort and support, that they're being fed, that they have supplies to help clean up, that they have the health services and emotional support that they need during this difficult time. And they are spread out through Florida, the Carolinas, Georgia and Tennessee right now. Yeah, by now, a lot of us at home have seen some of the unbelievable videos, homes being completely taken off of their foundations, the, the catastrophic flooding. Can you walk us through some of what you your, you and your teams have seen in some of those areas that have been most heavily impacted? Those are exactly the conditions that they're seeing. We see during disasters like Hurricane Helene that it can be difficult even to reach people with immediate supports like meals and just checking to make sure somebody's okay. Um, we had volunteers feeding people in Florida with uh, ready to eat meals that won't go bad with the power out and they couldn't get to every area right away because bridges were out, uh, roads were damaged. There was a couple that had to meet our volunteers riding their ATVs to the response vehicle that they were driving. Um, so that's just some of the conditions that they're seeing as they try to make sure people have help right now. Yeah, and as you guys continue your work looking for ways to help people there, what is the greatest need right now in terms of what you guys are seeing as from the Red Cross? There are thousands and thousands of people who don't know if they'll have a home to go back to. We are sheltering um, thousands of people right now. We've had more than 10,000 overnight shelter stays just in the past week since Hurricane Helene made landfall. And we expect that number to go up uh, as people are able to get out of their communities and away from their homes that may have been totally destroyed. So the greatest need for support right now is financial assistance to the Red Cross to make sure that this relief operation can function at the scale that it needs to. Um, and we're grateful to KOCO for partnering with us in, in an attempt to help encourage people to donate to this relief operation in future disasters. Yeah, absolutely. We'll talk about our partnership here in just a second. I wanted to ask you too, Matt, in terms of recruitment, maybe this is a good time to make a call to action. How can people get involved with the Red Cross? And is this been a time where you've seen an influx of, of extra people starting to get interested? You know, it is. And we often get the question from people, what can I do to help uh, during a disaster? Uh, there's a huge need for shelter workers in affected areas right now. And we're hosting shelter academies on Thursday and Saturday in the Oklahoma City area. So if people are interested in going to these disaster zones and making sure that people have somewhere to stay safely while they don't have a home to return to, we'll give you that training. We'll get you ready to deploy um, as soon as we can, because we know that this relief operation is going to go on for several weeks, if not months. And the need is going to be there as long as people don't have a place to return to. Yeah, and today, KOCO is partnering with the American Red Cross for a day of giving to help everyone that's been impacted by Hurricane Helene. There's links to donate on our website, KOCO.com, also the KOCO app or the Red Cross website as well. Matt, what do some of those donations go to? Why should someone consider uh, offering up some help? Well, financial assist assistance is the best way for us to uh, manage our relief efforts. So, like I mentioned, there are thousands of people in need of shelter. We need to make sure that they have all of the food and resources that they need in the shelter. We need to make sure that we can secure necessary supplies as those needs arise, that people have what they need to start cleaning up 
And then as we get through this immediate response and into the phase of the operation where people can start recovering and think about what comes next, we need to make sure that we can provide them with the financial assistance they may need uh, to start putting their foot forward and be on the road to recovery. Matt Trotter with the American Red Cross. We really appreciate your time. Right now, we are teaming up with the American Red Cross. Uh, our day of giving, you can go to the KOCO website, find a link to donate there, a way to offer up some help for, the, for our friends there who are dealing with Hurricane Helene, uh, an absolutely devastating storm, and a way to pitch in and, and give some help right there. There's your website, redcross.org slash KOCO.